Right guys, Mark Crossford here with Stephen Buzzer, University of Exeter. We're doing more tailor-made ghost putting reviews. Thanks for joining us, uh, right. Stephen. I've got the Indy. Indy! I've got the Daytona. Daytona. Now, the reason we're doing these two the same is, are they the same head, different neck? They, yeah. Can I just steal that one from you? They that. look like they are, aren't they? Yeah. Mm, slightly different shapes, but the same ideas. So really, these two putters would be so close if you wanted to go to this shape, which is why we're doing them together. So let's go Indian Daytona. Let's get stuck in. Right, so I've got the Indy. Indy is slightly more shaved off. Yours is a little bit squarer. Yes, it is. Um, this has a little bit more flowing lines with the heel toe weighted putt. A smaller line up line on the back, but the same as the Daytona. Um, mine has the more straighter neck where you have the kink neck in the yes. Daytona. Out of the two necks, which one would you be buying into? All day long for me as well. That shape, but that, putter head. That surprises me because you have a similar neck in your current one. Not in this shape. No. In, and again, I think a new golfer would not understand what I'm saying because they haven't got those preconceptions of yeah. what they want a putter to do. This shape putter, I want that neck. It's what I want, it's what I'm used to, it's what I've grown up with. So it's it's what I'm bringing to the table yeah. rather than a right one. I, I, I kind of agree with that because this shape, I expect to see it offset. Yeah, absolutely. So, and again, that's because we've got history of what this shape means to us. History, we've been uh, <laughs> We've been through it all together, Steve. The golfing gods have came to this. So we get the same face on each one, this milled yeah. face. Um, again, uh, you've said it in the other videos, quite poppy is a good description. It's a firm and quite springy feel. Yeah, it's a really nice the feel off these. I, yeah. I and it's like got, it. yeah, absolutely. It's got the black or the kind of greyish, darker, uh, mattish finish on as you look down with the silver or the kind of glossy bottom part. Less glary faces and heads, which is nice. Um, both of these putters, I think it would be, it's like I say, it'd be so close between these two. You would literally put them down and you would almost, if you went away to think about it overnight, you would think, which one did I prefer again? Or was it, it would be the neck rather than the subtleness in the head that like sways the, the it. Neck could possibly change the feel, how it feels like the toe is going to take over. Absolutely. So, a dress position. So I would certainly, just because I like the look of this one, I would certainly be trying both of them. Yeah, that's interesting. So that's interesting because I wouldn't. Someone who is quite definite for myself with yeah, my you putting. You've some putts in the past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I've putted some of my best games of golf have been using a putt of this shape. Um, so I know if I ever want to change putter, I could go back to that shape straight away. I know I like it, the familiarity of it, I, it works for me. Out of the two, I wouldn't try both. I would not I would try this one if I had enough time. I wouldn't be picking this one up. I'd be going Daytona straight away. Yeah, but I, and I like... It's, That's me, not the putter. I like the slightly sharper edges on this one. Yeah, I like the straightness of the edges. I don't need, I, if I want, if I want rounded sh shapes, curvature more on a shape, I'll use the putter I'm using, which is much more of a half, kind of like a semicircle shape. Uh, these putters for me, and I agree with you, need to be more definite in their lines, straighter in their lines. Two great putters. Um, face, you need to try it to see if you like the feel of it. I do like the finish. They're high quality and they make you feel like you're getting a premium product. Daytona for me over Indy. Yeah. Indy. <laughs> Daytona. <laughs> you don't... Indy, you know, that's like Indiana Jones, you're not... Uh, wait. Indy! You're not getting it, are you? You're not getting it. They're getting it. Post comments down below if you got that or not. Um, Daytona for me over Indy. Steve would try both. I would try both. Which one would you end up with? This one, but yeah. <laughs> I would try both. You just like trying putters. <laughs> Good stuff. There you go. Ghost tailor-made putters. Great stuff. Uh, great finish. Find the shape you like and have confidence in the shape you like. There's not going to be much statistically difference between these two. We've done tests with this using Sam and you could see that the, it was very marginal any of the changes yeah. in our stroke from any shape. And it's, that's, that's a good point as well. It's not, providing you can line it up, yeah. use the thing that you like the look of because you'll you'll get a better role. You'll feel more confident under pressure. You'll want to pick it up. So, so you sound like you're being a bit... I just add a word, I'll say. I will add a word. But, uh, <laughs> If you've, if you've already decided this is the one I put better with, you yeah. probably will yeah. from a psychological standpoint, even if... Then mixing up yes. the pot a bit. I totally agree. I mean, I'm very, like I say, and as I said in this video, I think it's a good point. I'm very definite with my putters because I've got enough history with enough shapes to know what I feel I like to what I don't. And don't be afraid to take some of that into your fittings and your testing as well. It's as important as anything else. Yeah, definitely. Good stuff. Thank you, Stephen, for your time. Yes, thank you. Uh, there you go. Ghost, tailor-made putters, tall black, indie.
<laughs> Daytona as well. Let me know what you think, post comments. Which neck? You go this one or this one? Post comments, which neck would you like best? For me and Steve, it's that one. Thanks for watching as always. Speak to you soon. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for loads more videos. Find me on Instagram at CrossfieldMark. Also on Twitter at 4GolfOnline. Find me on Facebook, Mark Crossfield. Thanks for watching. Post comments as always and see you soon.